Hi, my cuss babies. These are general readings. Take what resonates, leave the rest. They are for entertainment purposes only. I will never reach out to you to do a reading. I currently do not do personal readings. When I do, I will let y'all know here on YouTube. So if you do not see me, it is not me. All right. For those of you that have not checked this out yet, it is on Amazon. The link is in the description. The link is also in the description for my other page for um, updates on candles that are in the process of being made and such things. Currently nothing is in the process of being made, but check it out because I do have some things on there already. Um, yeah. If you like what I do and are interested in donating, I will create a GoFundMe page. The link will be in the description for that as well. Aside from that, enjoy your reading. Bye. Hi, my Gemini Cancers. This is going to be a general reading for the month of May, which is not that far away right now. So, y'all will see this pretty sh shortly. What the spirit want my Gemini Cancers to know for the month of May? Aside from seeing potential power outages. Let's hope not. What the spirit wants y'all to know for the month of May? I don't really... Month of May, Gemini, Cancer. What does Spirit want y'all to know? I am not really getting a good card feel today. The month of May, Gemini, Cancer. That one. All right. Tiger. Passion and bleh. passion and adventure beckon. And I get a little more clarity on that. A little more clarity. There we go. These two. Three. Now I'm feeling... This one didn't 100% come out of the deck. These two came out together. And you got the tiger and the black panther. That's cool. Sensuality and passion stir beneath the cloak of secrecy. Discernment before a passionate encounter leads to the magic of love and turn away from infidelity so that love may blossom. Those two came out together. <laughs> the hummingbird is going from flower to flower. The rabbit likes to multiply. That's kind of an ironic combination. <laughs> I feel like this isn't the first hummingbird the cancers have gotten. Let's see, so... <laughs> Alright, guys. There's an adventure of some type coming up. Possibly sexual in nature. Not necessarily, though. But, I mean... That's my feelings on it. So, something's coming up, or something's in play right now. And all, all three of these cards are telling me it's... Not necessarily a relationship... But it's, what's the word for it? It's a pleasure, okay?
passion. The hummingbird going from flower to flower, infidelity and blooming love. Discernment before passion. It leads to the magic of love, sensuality and passion hide beneath the cloak of darkness. Every single one of these cards, except for the hummingbird, has passion in it. And the hummingbird says love. So. If this isn't that type of situation, it's kind of... <laughs> Y'all gonna have a fun time. That's obvious from the cards. Be a little bit careful with the flowers you decide to chase on this adventure. Don't hop around from one petal to another or flutter around. your passion aloud and defend those whom you love in word and deed. Yet again, passion and love. And come here again. Concern ambition with patience until it's time to make your move. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you go on an adventure, you're roaming free. There's love and passion. A little bit of secrecy that you need to be concealing. I get the feeling this is just a fun time for y'all. I don't see it being... It could become more, but I don't see it being that right now. Let me do a different spread here. Just for y'all, because this is kind of a interesting one. What does the month of May have in store for you in relationship terms? I don't know if I should go after that card or ignore it. Moose, with self-reliance and measured patience, the adversary will become overcome. Mind you, this card just ran away, so... Yeah. I'm not sure what that means, but... Anyway. What does y'all's relationship look like right now? Two cards again. The frog and the bee. You gotta work hard. Adapt to survive by accepting the inevitable and seizing potential. Hard work is rewarded with responsibility and the sweetness that is shared. Y'all are adapting to this relationship. Y'all working hard for it. Okay, so. See. So I think the situation right now, y'all's playing. Y'all are playing around. Maybe playing hard to get. Sowing your wild oats. Flittering from one flower to another. And keep in mind, this doesn't necessarily have to be a sexual or relationship thing. It could be flitting from one job field to another, one religion to another, different identities, 
so even though I'm using terminology on relationship terms, don't actually ever tag me for that unless I like strictly tell you this is all I mean, which I probably am not going to do. Apparently we're going to have hail size or golf ball, tennis ball, something size hail around here sometime. So that's what that thing is about. Um, yeah. But back to the topic. Y'all are fluttering from flower petal, from flower to flower. And whatever this is, be it relationship, be it work. And y'all actually have or are going to have a specific person or, or situation in mind, an ideal one. But in order to make that work, y'all gonna have to adapt a little bit, change probably for the better. Adapt, adapt to the circumstance and work hard and basically you've got to change show the girl guy job that you're not what you come across as you're not the player you're not that person that's going to abandon them in their time of need this can go for anything. Jobs don't like people to abandon them either, so. But show, show them that you're a different person. Put in the hard work. And you will reap the reward of that sweet nectar in the end. See, that's something else with the hummingbird and the bee have in common. They both flutter from flower to flower to get the, to the nectar inside those petals. So, and as much as I hate to say this, y'all might be the person they think you are. Nobody's perfect, but you're possibly pretending to be somebody better to get to them. Just be careful with that because I think it's going to lead you to heartbreak or trouble. This isn't the situation to be playing that game, okay? If that's a game you've been playing in the past and it's worked for you, whatever goal you're going after now... This is not the time for that. This is not the situation. This <laughs> this just popped in my mind. So this wasn't something I was thinking of when I was telling you this. But this is a karmic year. Meaning any neg negative things that are done by you will come back to you very strong this year and that might be what this reading is telling you so keep that in mind this one popped out consider the smallness of your needs and treasure what you possess take care of what you got don't screw if you're going to work hard for something, don't make it an in vain effort, okay? Some of you will know what I'm talking about. Some of you will think I am just rambling on in this. Because y'all's reading you really hard to do today. It took me a long time to even want to pick a card, so... Some of you may not actually have needed a reading for May. I think y'all are doing pretty good. But there's a few of you that know what I'm talking about, so y'all see it eventually. <laughs> Tr 
travel and embrace a dream. Okay, peeps? Peace.